Hello everybody and thanks for joining. So, um, hey, uh, thanks for all the emails regarding the contest, uh, but uh, be patient. I will announce more details uh, later. And uh, it is a contest using Corral Motion Studio and at the end you can win basically the ultimate pack which includes the Corral Motion Studio. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but like I said, bear with me and then uh, I will reveal more about that contest later. But for now, uh, I'm also getting quite a few emails regarding the uh, Relate Object Tool. What is it and how do I use it? Um, first off, bear in mind that the Lathe Object Tool is no different to the old lathe you saw in Grandad's workshop. It is there to work with cylinder objects. So, baseball bats, bottles, glasses, uh, pool table legs and so forth. It's just, you'll grab a piece of wood and it'll spin at high velocity. You grab a carving tool and then you shape it uh, according to what you want. And this lathe object tool is absolutely no different. It will create cylinder objects that you can shape the way you want. And if you want a cube, then I suggest just go into here and then you'll just pick cube and then voila, it picks up. All right, now, what are we gonna do? Let's, for this tutorial, let's replicate this cone. So how do we do that? Well, first I'm gonna start a new project and then I'm gonna launch my lathe object editor. All right. Now it's no different to the lathe that you see in workshops. Basically one point is here and one point is here. So imagine that whatever your object is, let's say for the argument's sake, we're working with a piece of wood and that piece of wood is now suspended in the middle here being held together by the top and the bottom. All right. But unlike the lathe in the shop, it doesn't spin. We don't need it to spin because whatever we do, it immediately creates it. All right, now uh, just to show you something, if I go to one on one, that keeps my ratio uh, in perfect, uh, like aspect ratio. So if I now draw a circle, I'm going to get a perfect circle like that. If I just delete that and I unclick that and I draw a circle, see how I can change it into an oblong or an egg shape. All right, it depends what you want. All right, and I don't need that. So, so I'll just delete that one as well. And I'm going to go back to the circle because my free hand is atrocious. And I'm just going to draw a circle. Now, why am I drawing a circle? Just to quickly show you something. I'm going to go to my move tool and just pop it in the middle. All right. So like I said before, your lathe uh, object is being held by the top and the bottom supports. So if I move this from left to right, uh, it's going to change the object itself. Right now, this is a, a, a complete ball. So as you can see, there's the ball. Now what would happen, now here's a shortcut for you, just double click and you launch the lathe object editor again. Uh, and watch what happens if I move this away from the center. It gets bigger and it inverses. Watch now. Voila. See like that? So if you, this is what you're after, you're after a, a ring or a sphere of this size, then that's what you need to do. You just move it away from the center. It doesn't matter if you go left or right. If I move it to the other side, it does the exact same thing. So there you go. All right. So that was just a little little demo to show you what happens if you move away from the, the center. It just gets bigger and it inverses like you get uh, nothing in the middle. Sorry, that's the best I can come up with. <laughs> All right. Let's go uh, create that cone. First off, I don't need that object and I'll delete it. So I'm going to use my uh, path tool and I'm just going to start mapping out. But I don't need to do it perfect. I'll do it later. And I'll just, like I said, all I want to do is create that cone look. I guess that's what the, the cone looks like. Now, as you can see, I'm not creating the cone on this side. I don't need to. Remember, we're working in a lathe tool. So whatever I create here will automatically mirror effect it over here. So now once I'm done, I click Join Path. Close the path. Now watch. It'll, it'll make a perfect cone for me. So there you go, there's my cone. So it's not as as awesome as the cone in the object uh, window, but you can see definitely that it is a cone. Now I can change it obviously, I can edit that out by double clicking and I can then go into uh, uh, adjustments here and then I can basically move and just make it a little bit better. Like I said, I don't need to worry about it being perfect now. I can do that using this. And I can also make, uh, let's say if I want this a bit more rounded out, then I should use the rounded out tool. So here you go. So I can now make this a bit of a, 
a roundness to it. I don't know if that's what I want, obviously. And then that's okay. And there it is, see? So I've got a bit of a, a roundness in there, so it's not so squared looking. So there's my uh, cone. I'll just, you know what, I'll just make that uh, base. Oh, sorry about that. I do need to go back to uh, my line until rather than uh, there you go that, that should do it that should work for this tutorial all right that'll end. we're not going to be perfect are we i haven't got time for that so there it is there's my time uh, my kind so all i need to do now is uh add some color to it so i'm just going to go to color uh right now it's that standard uh, default yellow looking color so i'm going to go white and how do I get the uh, the cylinders on there, the uh, orange cylinders? Well, that's basically an object. So I'm going to go to Texture, and I'm going to use... Now, I've already created uh, my cone effect, and there it is. So I've now created my cone. Now, I can obviously uh, change my object. Uh, this is my wrap, so whatever, whatever image I'm using, I've wrapped it around it. And I could use any image I want. Let's... Let's do something different. Let's use another image, shall we? Um, oh, sorry. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, see how I've just changed the image? So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go back to my image. So I can change the way this image goes as too. I can do flat mode, or I can do the cylinder mode, or I can do the reflection mode. It just depends what you want. I just want the flat mode. I just want exactly what this is here. And I can also change it. Uh, Let's see, I can go to Y, so it goes from top to bottom rather than from left to right. So you can quickly see um, how you work with your uh, lathe tool. We can go back in here. So bear in mind that whatever you create on this side, it will mirror effect it on this side. And that's, my friend, is a very quick, simple in, uh, tutorial on how to use the lathe tool. And I uh, hope you've learned something, and as always, Thanks for watching.